Hello, YouTube. <laughs> um, well, the celebration is over and everything is cleaned up, but um, I'm here now because it was some things that I had wanted to show you. We're looking out of a dirty mirror, so something that needs to be cleaned real bad. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I wanted to show you one of my latest dolls before I get into it, and here she is. Here she is, and here is the lower part of her body. She's a very long doll, okay? My dress is very junky. These are my other people. But anyway, I have wanted to get back into the power of celebrating your sacred ancestors, and they can be anywhere from uh, anywhere from someone who is deceased in your family, a, a long ago aunt or a grandmother or uh, even uh, spirits that you don't know. That's why I said sacred because some of them we might not want to bring up, you know, bring back up from wherever they are. So that's why I said the sacred ancestors. And it's important that you uh, invoke the spirits of the sacred ancestors. Um, it's very powerful, you know, the results of celebrating them and showing them that they are just as needed as anything else we need in the physical world. Mind you that the spirits are just like they were in a physical form as far as needs and they do have emotions and they do have some of the same things we have. They just don't have physical bodies. So we... Uh, it's not like we're just taking so much from them. I mean, they at the same time too appreciate us knowing that they um, are still needed and, um, you know, that we can invoke them and they can help us as well. So it's not just us getting so much and, and at the same time too, they get nothing. That's why, you know, I had the celebration for them and that's when I sacrifice price to them. Like I may make up, just give a uh, a plate just put food on a plate something that I know they will really want and then I will take it and I will put it outside uh, it may be a piece of fruit a pineapple or a cantaloupe or a something of significance or some meat or something like that to go on the outside um, so that we're letting them know and under a tree you can put some of that or whatever or you know, on your altar, it's, it depends on you, you know, where you would like to make that sacrifice. Because, I mean, if you've tried so many things and your life is not happy right now, try calling up your sacred ancestors. Try calling them up. Uh, just know that you must celebrate them also. You must make sacrifices to them too because some of the spirits can get very jealous. They can get very angry. Like I said, they have the same emotions. You know, and we wouldn't want to be taken and taken and taken and never given. I got one um, little story that I wanted to tell you all. Oh, and I wanted to show you my little things going down here. Here's my seed. They're going. I'm trying to do so many things in one video. Those are the stream beans and other things. But I got one little story that I would like to tell you. And um, when you call them up, don't call them up for selfish things just to see if they'll work because it's not even worth it. You know, exhausting your time and exhausting their power. I mean, it's, it's, it's just not even necessary to do anything like that. Because, you know, at the same token, you, I mean, to me, I think that once you take something, then at the same time, too, you should give. And who wants to give something for foolish reasons? But anyway, make a long story short. I was in a bookstore and I was reading a book and I wanted some quiet time and I wanted a little table for myself, you know, and these kids were sitting down and they was talking about how they was going to sit there and waste some time and everything. They had nothing else to do and they made all kind of noise. They were slamming books and I was just so ready for them to go and I knew it was going to be a minute that they was going to be there because they had already said it was. And I called, um, y'all forgive me, I was wrong, I'm sorry, but anyway, I called, um, you know, Papa Legba. And I wanted to just really see if it works, you know, because I, I heard about patrons and stuff and uh, matrons and stuff, but I hadn't quite decided that I was going to do one. So I said, well, you know, let me, use, let me use this right here just to see, you know. And I said, Legba, I need you to please get these kids away from this table. They are driving me crazy. 
which I know now it was selfish, you know. And uh, within an instant, they vanished from me like they had seen something that scared the devil out of them. Okay, that was like a Saturday night. Came 